Hey guys, welcome back. My Kermis MH Tutorials, and today I want to show you guys how you can model a set of dice. So hopefully you guys are in the Vegas mood. All right, there we go. We're going to start off by creating uh, a sphere. We're going to drag that out in the grid. And in the attribute editor, we're going to increase the number of subdivisions. So we're going to select that tab here. And I'm going to bump that to 40 by 40, so it's nice and round, like that. And we're going to hit Control D to duplicate that. Hit W to move it over. I'm going to Shift Select both of them. Hit Control D again. Go down like that. And hit Shift D like that. Okay. So now we got the six number on the cube, so to speak. Okay. I'm going to drag select all of those go to Mesh and Combine. I'm going to hit Control D to pull that up like that. Okay. And in my copy, I'm going to go to Mesh and Separate. And I'm going to select the two in the middle like that. And I'm going to hit Delete. So we got the number six, I got the number four. I'm gonna take the number six again, hit Control D. I'm gonna move that up like that. All right, again, mesh and separate. I'm gonna go for the number five, so I'm gonna select that one and delete it. Select that one and move it to the middle. Just check it from my top view so that I know for sure that I'm okay. Yep, okay, got it. All right, back to perspective view. And I'll hit five so you can see it a bit better. Okay, so we got six, four, five. So what we need is three, two, and one. Okay, so select that one again, hit Control D. Pull that up like that. We'll go with three this time. So mesh and separate. Select that one, hit delete. Select that one, move it in a diagonal. Check it from the top view again. And yeah, we're good. All right. So we got six, four, five, three, let me check. That's five. Top one is five. That one should be three. So we're going to select that and that and delete it. Okay. So we've got six, four, three, five, and now we need two and one. Okay. Now the one's pretty easy. Control D. Pull that up, mesh and separate. I'm going to select those, get rid of that, select that one, pull it into the middle, and check it again from our top view. All right, good. And now, last but not least, we need the number two. So hit Control D. Pull that way up, and we're going to select that one, go to Mesh and Separate. I want those gone, and we should have number two, and there we go. Now, it's important to make sure that all of these are combined. So we need to check it from our side view, all right? We're going to select these on top, just those, mesh and combine. That one is a single one. There, mesh, combine. That one, mesh, combine. That one, mesh, combine. And the one on the bottom is already combined. Okay, should be good there. 
All right, this is going to save you a lot of time in a second or so. Okay, so next we're going to select a, um, a cube. We're going to pull that out, pull it up, and we're going to make sure that it's square. So we're going to go to the uh, polycube uh, tab, and we'll do that 10 by 10 by 10. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to break these edges. So right click on that, go to edge. We're going to select all of the edges. So just move that over a little bit. All right. We're going to go to edit mesh and hit bevel. And we're going to tweak that a bit. The number of segments, we're going to go to six and the offset to about 0 0.2. Okay. All right, so now next, we need to position these in the right place on our cube to make sure that we can um, use the Boolean function. First, I wanna see if my spacing is okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to object mode, select that, pull that down. And for my top view, I wanna make sure that my spacing is okay. As you can see, it's a bit tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna scale the cube out just a little. Something like that. All right, should be good. Okay, here we go. So first, um, just for uh, to make sure it's easier to see, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Let me move that up. Okay. We're going to start off with the six. I'm going to drag that up. Drag that in position. Check on it from my top view because I want to make sure that it's aligned okay. And I'm going to move that in position. Okay, that looks good. All right. Just quickly check on it from my this view here yeah it looks good okay so we got that now we need to pull those six down to their middle line so i'm going to check that here so you got the middle line of my uh, sphere with the so this line here is aligned okay so i'm going to select my cube select these two go to mesh boolean and click on difference and this is the effect that you will get and that's what we're looking for all right so we got that now opposite to number six is number one so that shouldn't be too difficult we're gonna pull that out there and we're gonna make sure that that's centered from our top view wireframe mode and get that in nicely in the middle okay got that we need to make sure again that it's uh, halfway so we need to zoom in a bit I'm just gonna pull this over a little bit so i can see it better there we go and we need to pull that down to about there all right select my cube select that go to mesh boolean and difference all right now i'm going to repeat that for all the others that's going to be pretty boring to look at so i'm just going to pause the video and i'll be back with you as soon as i got that done see you guys in a bit all right guys and i'm back well as you can see we got our uh our uh, dice going on here and uh, you know obviously you can uh, texture that and color that and whatnot uh, I'll just uh, throw a quick color on it sign your material I'm gonna go with a, uh, a Fong E and I'll just uh, make that white I'll slap a ground plane in there quickly something like so 
throw in some lights and uh, I'll not go through all the steps for that it's more about the modeling but at least I got something that I can show you then all right just going to select my lights here go to shadows select depth map shadows and to make it a bit more fun let's put this at an angle okay now let's bring it down in W there we go let's see if you can find a nice angle for our render that would be about good increase the size of our ground plane quite a bit all right let's do a render and see what it looks like there we go render settings and gonna use mental ray bump my quality up to about 1.25 roughly I'm going to increase the size to 1080 and I'm gonna do a quick render and see what we got I'll just uh, pause this for you guys so you don't have to wait All right guys that's it so this is our finished uh, uh, dice and uh, you know you can give it some uh, some texture some color you can play with the lighting just wanted to show you guys how you can model it so uh, if you got any questions let me know thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time bye